massive predators. They target any living thing. And they're threatening humans <laughs> like never before. It really legitimately looked like something out of a horror movie. When you get into more aggressive type animals that eat especially meat, you are meat. Oh. Can anything stop these deadly man-eaters before it's too late? Burmese pythons. They're one of the world's largest constrictor snakes. Using scent to zero in on prey, they latch on with razor-sharp fangs and slowly squeeze victims to death. They're ultimate killing machines, and you'll never see them coming until it's too late. They're an ambush-type predator, and they get onto something, they taste that air, and they're gonna just gently creep up on it, and before you know it, bam, they're on it. Where they come from, you know, over in Asia, they have documented cases over 22 foot. And you're gonna weight-wise be, you know, in the two to 300 pound category. And if you put that snake in the right area, a snake, just like an alligator, will eat and grow its entire life. Easy, son. Snake expert Steve Masick is doing his part to manage the species, capturing a huge nine-foot specimen for the Calusa Nature Center in Fort Myers. Come on, baby. Returning home, he carefully places the python into a container to get it ready for display. But this predator is not ready to be tamed. The next thing I know, this thing is on my face. All right, let's get, 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 get somebody, get somebody. It's right on his nest. All right. You got me by the nose, baby. All right, all right. You got the vodka or any kind of liquor? Do you have any liquor? Water. All right, stop for a second. It's bleed. I see. I'm bleeding I... into its face. All right, hold on. Steve's partner, Virginia, has been in this situation before. She runs to grab tools they'll need to pry the snake off. Masick slowly works his fingers into the python's throat. If he can block its breathing, he might be able to pry it from his face. And when it came off, you know, my, my hands were still down in there and the teeth were curved into my fingers. Oh, you got it off? Get it off my hands, though. All right. Is there any teeth in my face? Just, just hold for, hold for a second. I'm gonna try and wipe you off. All right. Um, okay, relax, 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 relax. Everyone in the situation remains calm. I know if I can remain calm, but just keep telling Steve it's gonna be all right. Where'd that juice go, Tori? Hand me that juice. It might not like the taste of the juice. Hold on. The cranberry juice, she dumped that in there, and I guess being that it's a different flavor and a different taste, it didn't like it, and it was cold, too. Ugh. I'll get you. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'll get you. I'll get you. Ugh. Drop it. I... Is there any teeth in my face? Watch the cussing and let me see. I was just fixing them, you know, dust it for the mites and put it away. And uh, it, it had enough and it let me know. It's gonna hurt. There. What do you think, baby? Think it was trying to pick daddy's nose a little no. bit? I'm trying to eat it. <laughs> Yo, thought my nose looked like a big rat. There's no place more ideal for rapid Burmese python growth than South Florida and Everglades National Park. It's warm, seasonally gets cool, which is just enough to prompt them to begin reproduction. The populations have just grown exponentially. This Burmese python invasion began more than three decades ago. And today, these giant snakes seem nearly unstoppable. Some scientists predict a current population of over 100,000 snakes and counting. And as the population continues to grow, so does their territory. The species first began breeding 
in the Everglades far southern region. From there, they've quickly spread, stretching further and further outside the swamp, more than a hundred miles north of the first wild snake sightings. The more these monsters make their way into our neighborhoods, the greater the risk to human lives. And the Burmese python has proven even a full-grown man could become a tragic victim. Bronx, New York, 1996. A young student dreams of a career in herpetology, the study of reptiles. It's an obsession that drives him to bring a living monster into his own home. A 13-foot Burmese python. Just five months after purchasing the huge animal from a local pet store, he prepares a regular weekly feeding, a live chicken dinner. But his pet sets its sights on much larger prey. The snake is on him in an instant, quickly wrapping its coils around the man's neck and chest. Death by suffocation, can happen in a matter of minutes. A neighbor discovers his motionless body and immediately calls for help, but it's too late. It's a tragic example of the Burmese python's indiscriminate appetite for living flesh. But the monster's unprecedented size isn't the only thing that concerns Dr. Crisco. When we dissected it, it actually contained a record clutch size of eggs, and it, I believe there were 87 oviducal eggs, just a little bit smaller than the size of my fist. These are some of the eggs that we found inside one of the large pythons. This is actually just from one oviduct, one side of the female's reproductive uh, organs. Female pythons normally give birth every two years. If only a quarter of these eggs hatch after 60 days and reach maturity, over 20 new pythons from a single parent every other year, the population here in the Everglades would grow out of control. It's a population explosion that leads to a new terrifying encounter on our turf. December 2012. Out-of-state visitors, a family with two small children, are shocked to see just how close they've come to encountering one of Mother Nature's most powerful alpha killers in the flesh. Park staff take immediate action for environmental safety. Following Florida Fish and Wildlife Protocol, they killed a deadly animal on site. I told you. I said it was a girl. She might be pregnant. And that's why we really wanted to get it before it laid all its eggs. That's what I told you. Thanks. Um. It's a policy of extreme prejudice that some feel is the only way to battle an extreme invasion. But it also protects lives. For this 17-foot python, a child a third of its size wandering into the brush could have easily become its next victim. In the wild, Burmese pythons have already shown an appetite to devour and digest child-sized prey. October 2011, Florida water management workers find and kill a 16-foot Burmese python with a disturbing bulge in its belly. A field dissection reveals an undigested 76-pound adult white-tailed deer. It's the largest undigested prey found inside a captured Burmese python in Florida. Definitive proof of a monster snake's monster appetite. And if left alone, a beast this big could have easily finished the meal. Recent studies have shown an alarming 90% decrease in the sightings of several Everglades animal species, including native raccoons and bobcats. It's an observation that seems to correspond directly with the expansion of the Burmese. And as they hunt in more populated areas, the risk of humans stumbling on these monsters when they're ready to feed continues to increase. While in feeding mode, 
pythons are extremely aggressive, poised to strike at any potential prey, a situation that can easily lead to a violent attack. <laughs> Hamilton, Ohio, 2006. Tarek Puska's a heavy metal rocker with a passion for music and massive scaly serpents. But his love for exotic reptiles is put to the test when he's asked to take on a friend's pet python. This is no ordinary snake. Lacey was a 12-foot albino Burmese python, beautiful. Uh, was owned by a friend of mine, and he had come upon some hard times and wasn't able to care for her anymore. I knew that she was much larger than the snakes I had previously owned, but that was a challenge I was willing to accept to try to save such a beautiful animal. His first step, making sure Lacey's well-fed. I went and bought some large-sized rats, put her in the bathtub, which would, I figured, be the best place to feed her. And the second that she struck that rat, just the sheer strength, speed, power, I knew right then how big and bad this creature was, and I was in a completely different world. I had uh, just completed the feeding of the third rat when my wife at the time decided that she needed to use the restroom. You're not going to the bathroom, are you? I was planning on it. He knows the worst time to mess with one of these monsters is when they're feeding. I said, honey, that's probably not a good idea. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, she said she wasn't afraid of the snake, and into the bathroom she went. You all right in there? After a couple minutes, I went to the door. Honey, you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Lacey's letting me pet her, and, and I thought to myself, uh, probably not good. I heard a blood-curdling scream. Lacey had my wife completely with her hand engulfed in her mouth. It really legitimately looked like something out of a horror movie. Get off me! Get off Heavy metal rocker Tarek Puska's wife is in the grips of a 12-foot albino Burmese python. Get off me! He knows he can't remove the giant snake by hand, so he comes up with a new strategy. I decided to fill the bathtub up with lukewarm water. My intention was, hopefully after being underwater for a certain period of time, she wouldn't be able to breathe and she would have to come up for air. But the plan's not working. It actually, to my horror, had a reverse effect. Pythons can stay underwater for a long time, and Tarek's move makes the beast very angry. I'm asking her if the snake's loosening up. She says no, it's squeezing tighter and tighter. So as I'm pondering my next move, she starts screaming in panic again. I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? She said, Lacey's starting to swallow my hand. At this point, I knew I had to take it to another level. I needed assistance. He immediately calls for help from the local fire department. Firefighters came within five minutes. I literally watched them run in the bathroom and go, oh my God, and they all backed off. But hesitation is not an option. One of the firefighters was actually able to reach in with my screaming wife and the snake clamping down, and he caused the snake to release. Oh my God. Yeah, the back. Oh. 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 Tarek's wife survived with deep cuts to her hand, but no permanent physical damage. Having witnessed the true power of Burmese pythons up close, there's no question in Tarek's mind. His monster reptile days are over. Some scientists believe these monsters may present a problem that stretches far beyond Florida state boundaries. A deadly predator that could threaten human lives from coast to coast. But in the wild, mammoth Burmese pythons do have one weakness that could slow down the spread of the species and long-lasting cold temperatures below 30 degrees Fahrenheit should be deadly. A few years ago, we had an unusual cold spell that lasted for a very long time down in southern Florida. So we were hoping that might 
uh, give us some insight to a management tool on how to control these uh, populations. But this 2010 cold period yields very disturbing results. With over 100,000 snakes, some estimate to be in the Florida wild, less than 350 are found dead that year. And research reveals only a fraction of these deaths are due to the cold. Soon after, the population rebounds. Pythons are being removed again in numbers actually larger than they were to the year previous to that cold spell. Some scientists speculate Burmese pythons prone to hibernate, occupying burrows to stay warm, could pass the trade on to offspring, creating a future generation of cold-resistant snakes, ready to inhabit even more of the United States. With global warming temperatures increasing across the country, the potential for deadly confrontations across even more of the United States in your own home grows year after year. And even for professionals dealing with killer snakes every day, similar deadly errors can be just as severe. <laughs> Crowds flock to a local aquarium for an out of the ordinary attraction. One of our friendliest snakes here at the aquarium. The audience prepares for a chance to pet one of Mother Nature's deadliest beasts. These pythons are actually the third largest snake in the entire world. Um, they what they don't realize, this demonstration is about to take a turn for the terrifying. Um, so we're going to be taking this snake out today. Um, now before I actually even open up her tank... She had had fried chicken for lunch, and I guess she had failed to wash her hands. When I take her out, the snake evidently smelled that chicken. And here's Chloe! Constriction. There's tremendous pressure as they're trying to pull you into their coils. And they're trying to get their wrap their body around, which instinctively they want to coil around and disable the animal as quickly as possible. Her manager rushes in to keep the predator from coiling any further. But coming between a killer carnivore and its meal is easier said than done. As the situation worsens, a frightened audience member decides it's time to call for help. Officer Manny Magoulis is the first on the scene. I made the decision, I'm going to use the taser, and I pointed the taser uh, in the direction of the snake. He fires, and the snake's muscles clamp down tighter. Then suddenly, it stops. After about a three second pulse from the taser, the snake began to release, let go of the hand, and we were able to free her arm from the coil of the snake. It's further proof of an alpha predator's deadly instinct to eat any meat. And in someone's care, or in the wild, no one's safe. As the species makes its way north, the probability of human encounters with bigger and bigger Burmese pythons increases. A perfect spot for a semi-aquatic ambush predator, your own swimming pool. Holy crap, that is a very large Burmese python. The gigantic snake measures 13 feet long. I'm gonna put my hand in there and just very gently touch her and see how she reacts. Removing it from this pool will require extreme caution. Not okay. She is acting like a wild snake. Even for a Miami-Dade Venom Unit Lieutenant, wrangling an animal this large is a serious challenge. This thing is freaking strong. Slick scales are very difficult to grip. No, 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 no. Especially when a python's fighting to get free. For safety, Lieutenant Wood releases the violent reptile. She calls in reinforcements. It takes five team members to subdue the snake. You want a tail first? It's fine. Tail first is fine. And force it inside a cage. The thought of giant aggressive animals roaming free in neighborhoods here in Florida and across America is frightening. 
In January 2012, Burmese pythons were added to the Lacey Act, a list of injurious species that prohibits importation and transport across the entire United States. It's a desperate attempt to keep the snakes from spreading throughout the country. They're powerful killing machines, growing in numbers and size. Most scientists believe they're now at a point where there's no way to eradicate them completely. Devouring anything in their path, it may be too late to stop these man-eating super snakes.